Robert Garcia says he was misquoted. He didn't criticize AJ. Let's talk. Push the weight in the flex, flex. The live is one in the six. Yeah. With the runner boy, you nigga, no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Woo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Uh, 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 I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hoe. Right. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Well, well, well. Seems like there was a misunderstanding. You know, and I heard a lot of, um, I heard a lot of uh, things in reference to the situation. Um, uh, when uh, Anthony Joshua picked Robert Garcia to be his trainer, I found it very odd. And, you know, if you follow me, you know why it's hard uh but i don't want to make that about that i want to make this video about that what i want to do is i want to uh talk about what robert garcia said um boxing scene the link will be in the description it says robert garcia denies criticizing aj he claims he was mis it was a uh, mistranslated so let's see what was said it says robert garcia insists his comments about anthony joshua were lost in translation okay Garcia, the veteran trainer from Southern California, recently found himself in the hot seat when headlines of the Spanish language boxing website, I can't even pronounce his name, began making ripples in English, in the English language press. Okay. The articles featured Garcia's opinions on Joshua's performance in his heavyweight rematch with Alexander Usyk last month in Saudi Arabia. The Ukrainian, the Ukrainian ended up holding on to his titles, the split decision win. To me, it was a unanimous decision win, but whatever. One story had Garcia on record saying that Joshua had been mentally defeated by the 10th round, which saw Usyk dominate the Londoner. In the round before, Joshua appeared to change uh, the tenor of the fight with his own offense that he had in his arsenal, okay? And another story also published by, what is it, Izquierdazo, whatever it is. That's, that's the name, of, I can't pronounce that. Yeah, yeah, the link of the description, y'all read it. Uh, Garcia stated that he had wanted Joshua to put more pressure on Usyk much earlier in the fight. Garcia says and his words have been misinterpreted when they were translated from English to Spanish, from, from in, translated into English from Spanish and that he was not trying to be critical of his charge. Garcia linked up with AJ heading to the Usyk rematch. Says here, he says, I haven't talked to anybody, especially in English, Garcia told the ES News. You're the first person I'm talking to. I talked to a Spanish reporter that I know, uh, uh, so I gave him a little interview. But from Spanish translated to English, they make it seem Robert talking-ish. Yeah, wow. Pretty much, but no, that's what he says. Pretty much, but no. I wouldn't say that about my fighters, man. Uh, I, I've never done that before and I never will. Cesar Gonzalez Gomez, executive director of Is Izquierdazo, denied Garcia's claims of being mistranslated. Wow, so there's a disconnect here. In a statement, let's just call it that, uh, I don't know. Let's just call it that, that media outlet that I can't pronounce. <laughs> In a statement from that outlet, the new site, which published the initial Garcia stories and also translated them to English, said, we stand by our reporting and our translation. Oh, man. Oh, man. Regarding his comment about Joshua being mentally defeated, Garcia said he was simply trying to show how much he appreciated Usyk's effort in the pivotal 10th round. Anthony was fighting a great fight, Garcia said. After the ninth round, Usyk, we all thought he was done. Came back stronger, mentally and physically. He surprised me. So he did come back stronger. Maybe he did come back stronger than Anthony. I'm giving Usyk props, telling the truth that he doesn't, uh, uh, that doesn't mean that Anthony was, was mentally beat. No, I just said Usyk was stronger. Wow. 
This is deep, man. This is deep. Garcia pointed out, um, what he says here, he, said, he pointed out that there would be no incentive for him to say something that was critical of his fighter. All right, well, you can go and read this. And I said, wait, wait, this is very pivotal. He says, uh, he was actually winning after the ninth round. And then the last three were the difference. Usyk came back effing strong. So is that lying or talking ish? No, I'm just saying the way it the way it went. I'm just saying the way it was. Um, who do you believe? Do you believe Robert Garcia? Do you believe um, that that media outlet that's saying you'll know? Look, look, he was talking ish. They translated it from Spanish to English, and um, look, here's my opinion. Um, it wouldn't do Garcia a service by quote unquote talking trash about a guy that he helped prepare for this fight. Okay. Um, would he do that? I think in my, look, the honest, the, the honest answer is, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he, look, this might be, look, just, just, just understand. Just, just try and feel me on this. He may have been talking like that amongst his quote unquote people thinking that you know you know um he thought it was safe for him to talk freely around his people that might be it now i'm not listen family i'm just trying to make sense of this maybe he was talking like that and he felt comfortable talking around his people and they just quoted him word for word and put it out and now he's backtracking could that be possible yes but i don't know what I will say is I always found it interesting about how um, there was such a knock on what's going on in America. And AJ came over here and chose an American trainer to help him get past Usyk. And it didn't work. But like I said, that's another conversation. Um, did he do that? Was he trashing AJ? Uh Y'all tell me what y'all think. You know, um, it wouldn't help him if he was. And he was telling these, you don't tell reporters anything in confidence because reporters are going to do their job. I'll say it again. You don't tell any reporter in confidence anything because a reporter is going to do their job. Now, if, he, if they quoted him word for word, I mean, what is he going to say? I didn't mean it like that. But then it says here in the article, yo, look, I just said what happened. I wasn't trash talking. Usyk had a horrible, horrible round, what, nine? And he came back like a champion. And he shocked him. That's not trash talking. In that aspect, Robert is right. And, you know, trash talking, that's not trash talking. That's what happened. AJ had a really good round. And Usyk came right back. And Robert said, that surprised me. And that's not trash talking. That's saying what it is. So the other side to this is, you know, um, we live in a very sensitive era where people would rather lie to make uh, uh, someone feel good than to tell the truth regardless of how much it hurts. You know what I mean? Isn't that a little strange? So the deal is this here. I was just sitting here thinking as, we're, as I'm doing this video, um, you know what? I believe Robert Garcia. I believe Robert Garcia. I believe he said what he said. He stands on it because this is his work. And you know what? It's not his fault that AJ couldn't get it done because I believe that he he hired and AJ hired Robert to do a job and he did the job it was AJ's responsibility to execute now maybe he needs more time with Robert maybe um but I, with that statement what he said in this article is very true 
He wasn't trash talking. He said what happened. And what I did see was a bunch of English reporters go to Anthony Joshua and give him the, you're going to be okay, boo-boo. It's okay. I had you winning. You went toe-to-toe with the best boxer in the world. Yes, you did. Dummy. AJ, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Dummy. Dummy. And there's a reason why I'm calling him a dummy. Those are the same reporters that was just saying that Tyson Fury was the best boxer in the world. They was just saying it. I'm, I promise you they were. Don't let them feed you a, a freaking lie. Uh-uh. Don't let them do it, man. You lost to the better man. You got a lot of work to do. And it's not over for you. But Garcia stands by his work. He did the best he could, and AJ couldn't execute. So I, you know what? I just come to this realization. I believe Robert Garcia. And you know what? He shouldn't have to. He shouldn't have to explain himself. He said what he said. Because guess what? AJ lost, and everything he said, did he lie? Did he lie? No. He did the best he could as a trainer. He was hired to do a job. He did the job. AJ couldn't close the show. So once again, here we are again about this guy, AJ. You were right about him. He's mentally weak in certain spots. He can't take constructive criticism. And coddling him just for the sake of his feelings, you're not helping him. What he needs to do is leave the UK and come hang out over here in America. Get around some champions. That's when you're going to get a different attitude. Where people aren't praising you. Where you can walk the street without getting swarmed. You can't do it at home, boy. You can do it over here. Why? Because you're not the rock star you think you are. It's time for you to get real. There's still time. You know, yeah, you talk about getting back in the ring in December. I wouldn't recommend it. Get your mind right. Get from over there. Hang in these gyms, get to know some fighters, get to know the public, get to know the American audience because we are where it's at. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!